Hey, it's Pug Dog here. North Star and I found ourselves back on the long trail this past Columbus Day weekend with Cool Breeze, uh, along with Cool Breeze's girlfriend Odile and my Aunt Mary, two newer backpackers. Um, we hiked around Clarendon, Vermont to Clarendon Shelter and a little bit beyond, and we have a few tips for uh, introducing backpacking to new backpackers. All right, <laughs> everyone go. ready to go? Let's Bye. go. Bye. 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 <laughs> so it's Columbus Day weekend, We're going on a family hike. It's October 6th, we just got done doing SATs, and we all drove up. It's 6.30 and we're gonna walk only a mile to Clarendon Shelter. We're on the LT again. We were here almost a month ago. We we're still out here. We're gonna spend three days out here, or two nights. So, getting here kind of late from Massachusetts. This is so far. Are we in Massachusetts? No, we're in Vermont. Yeah, no, we're in Vermont. Hampshire. No, we're in Vermont. Vermont. <laughs> <laughs> I know I'll warm up once we get moving. I'm just cold right now. Okay. Oh my God, you think we're out here for years. I know. Look at that pack. That's just because I have Odile stuff in here too. Oh, is that the deal? <laughs> you gotta pack your um, pads, your sleeping pads in there. Odile's giving us are you mean, kindness. Are you mean kind you're, not, bars. you're not gonna carry them for kind us, bars. Allie? <laughs> Look at Odile's packs. She's going on a, like a year-long journey. This is two-day sojourn. No. This is after Al made me throw, put away half the stuff. So our first tip is to help your new backpacker to plan what they're going to need on the trail. I always heard they said put the heaviest thing in the body. Oh, have a nice fire at night. Um. Let's see our first, well, we'll get there. We'll have eaten dinner, so in the morning we're gonna need. And then we've got omelets that Cool Breeze makes. They're so awesome. And we've got some of them for all of us. And it's dark. is to make sure that an experienced hiker is the sweep. Always making sure that your new hiker is keeping up and no one is left behind. Actually, I'll go last. Make sure everyone stays together. Okay. Okay. So we're having a good laugh on the trail right now. It's about 7.35. Um, we were, the, the, the hike, the family hike was advertised as being very flat and very uh, welcoming to all levels of backpacking. And uh, <laughs> we've been hiking for a half an hour. We've gone like 0.3. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up. I don't know if the camera can pick this up. These are just big rocks everywhere. Bear dens galore. Everyone's shedding off their jackets. My third tip is one that I don't think I did a very good job with this last time around. Tip three is to discuss with your new hiker or hikers exactly what type of hike they would like to have, what kind of experience they would like to have, and then make sure that the trip that you plan fits that category. Oh dear, what kind of hike would you like to do with us? Um, a nice, flat, um, enjoyable hike. It's not vertical, um, no big huge rocks or, <laughs> you know, every step you take, you have to think about it. You know, I like the more relaxing, let's just enjoy the 
company and the scenery and you know, not too much of a challenge. Not a challenge at all. <laughs> I have just the face. Alright, so use your right leg because that's where the dirt is. Just pull yourself out. Then we have flat for a while so you can rest. So we've been hiking for about one hour. How's everyone feel? Really good. Good. Yeah. You can see your breath but it's not cold. No. Just keep your eyes down and don't step on any wood. Down here, guys. Clarendon Shelter. We made it. And the rain is lightly starting to come down. Alright, so it's morning time. <laughs> and we're all packing up, and Mary Brown is going through her belongings. Way to go, John Brown. <laughs> Good husband points. He did this on the Grand Canyon hike as well. He always finds a way. Definitely. Alan and dealer over there. So this is where we slept last night in Clarendon Shelter. Mary Brown was on the space near the wall, and Allie was the sandwich meat. And I was over here on the edge. And then this morning we saw a mouse run by. It skittered from right over here. <laughs> and went steel. running as fast as it could off the, uh, off, the edge. off the floor. The big group of UMass students just left. We're here for the weekend. And they were talking about, they were here since Friday. Today is Sunday. This tent has been here. No one's in it, they said. It's just kind of weird and eerie. Like a, a light. Right. It's right raining out a little. Packing up, packing up for day two. One of these bags. Because that's going to be really good. Loose um, clothes, so I'll go get them and put them in. Yeah, okay. Cool. All right. We're leaving. Let's Everyone go. ready to go? Let's go! Yeah, keep your poles down at all times before you take a step. <laughs> climbing Beacon Hill right now. Beacon Hill. Is it called Beacon Hill? How am I thinking of Boston? 
We're climbing some sort of hill right now. Ready to walk. Everyone's checking to see if the Red Sox won. Did the Red Sox win? David Price. Is it tinder fungus? Tinder fungus? Isn't that what Bear Girls calls it? E easy to start fires with? Oh, I don't know. Is it white tinder fungus? Mm. Well, we just entered officially the Killington section of the Long Trail. Last time we were here, a little over a month ago, <clears throat> during our through hike, we were going the opposite direction and we came across this fence. There were cows eating off to what is my current left but today they're not here but you can smell cow in the air that little bugger where are you going my friend i don't know climbing tree to tree To the cow. Oh, wet apples. My sneaker filled up with water as I taped the wet apples. Civilization! Whoa! Go get the car! <laughs> You got there, Ali. Mm -hmm. Pug leaves. dog. Oh, I lost one. Even charred. I'm wondering if this is a lightning split tree. Oh no, wet feet. Oh no, wet feet. Did you get that? Oh my god. I'm sorry, Mary. Oh my god. Wet feet. No, They'll dry. I have, oh, I have an extra pair of socks. That one wasn't me. fun. Did you bring an extra pair of socks? Yeah. Okay. I have like five pairs. <laughs> I, have, I have three. I have four or five pairs of socks. <laughs> so <cute>. <laughs> <laughs> They're so close yet so far. Yeah. Well said. <laughs> <laughs> so these guys are looking to end December, January in South where it's going to be snow. <laughs> I was 
without a step. Ideal shoes. I would. Oh, okay, it actually sorry. feels good. Right? It feels good on your feet? Yep. So you came from this river. That's the mine. It's really high. I really don't want to take this apart. And so some of us took our shoes off to cross, okay. which I've never done before. I've always just walked across. Just wipe your feet with your feet. But, um. And then put them on. So, putting those shoes back. But I just walked across. So Ali and Bud have gone up ahead to try to find the secret, mm -hmm. the secret um, shelter. So we're all walking behind. The um, super secret, like, it's a secret shelter on the AT slash LT. It's called Swan Song Shelter. I, the legend goes that it was hand built, this is on private property, by an ex AT slash PCT through hiker. Um, and I think her or his name uh, is Swan Song. Swan Song. This is so crazy. Okay, let's go get our family. All right. All right, we're here at Swan Song Shelter. Everyone's kind of just chilling out. Alan will be able to sleep over there. Now you can sleep over there. Now you can sleep over there. We're trying to leave a space in case someone else shows. And Allie, Al and me, we built a fire. I think this thing has some staying power. Put a good base on it. Right? I think it's going to be mm. okay. Mm. That's great. All of this and it's only 529. <sighs> Our night's coming to an end. 642. The sun went down about 20 minutes ago. can barely tell. Allie's right there. Pug dog. Everyone's getting ready to go to bed in the shelter. We keep fanning the flames of the fire. So we're at Swan Song Shelter, and Bud and Allie are going to hike back about seven miles to get the car. Tip four is don't push your new hiker to do more than they're comfortable doing. Uh, you don't want the memory that they have of this backpacking trip to be a negative one. And just because you're hiking, you're comfortable hiking seven miles doesn't mean that they are. So uh, in this particular uh, experience, 
we decided to hike back to the car so that um, our family didn't have to do another river crossing and didn't have to climb down the slippery rocks that they climbed up and they would instead uh, meet us at a road crossing, which was fine with us because uh, those seven miles were easy peasy for us, but those seven miles might have been the straw that broke the camel's back for uh, our new hikers. Because everyone else is still waking up. <laughs> ready? All right, we're ready. All right, we'll see, see you guys in a few hours. Bye, Bye guys. Bye. 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 We will. Enjoy your breakfast. They're moving fast. All right, we've been hiking. And we're going to keep moving. We're overlooking, what's this creek called again? No, uh, Sergeant Brook. Sergeant Brook. Got to keep moving. Oh, there's a big frog. Okay, I'm gonna get away from him because he's scared. I don't wanna scare him. We're passing the Katahdin 500 marker again. What an awesome milestone if you're an AT through hiker. Something I hope to be in the future. Pug dog just fell. He accidentally stepped right on wet wood. She conked her head on like a branch that was jutting out onto the trail. Never step on wet wood. And then she wasn't, I mean, she was recovering from that and then it was a piece of wet wood. She stepped right on it. Say that again? Not to get jello jiggler legs. That's pug dog's term for, uh, well, either she's tired or her legs aren't used to the trail, which are pretty much synonymous. If your legs aren't used to the trail, you're because you're fatigued.
we made it back. It's 10.41. We left two hours and 53 minutes ago. And uh, we're gonna meet our family at Upper Cold River Road uh, crossing at 11.30. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Yeah, we love them sub 747. So we're on our way back to Upper Cold River Road. So it's uh, 10.55 and we're driving back to pick up the rest of the party. We're gonna go find pancakes. Rich. <laughs> cool. Wow, this has been the Vermont experience, huh? Mm -hmm. Jim Jeffords State Forest. So we're back here waiting for the Calvary to arrive. It was 11.13 and they should be on their way. This is three and a half hours. We told them three and a half, four hours. This is three and a half. Oh! Yeah, that's them. You want to hide? So we're hiding. Scream. I knew you guys would be ahead of us. Really? We even started early. Oh, did you? Yeah. Did you really? Oh, well, thank you. This is 17 of the alley was me and the car. Well, we heard you talking, but we couldn't hear what you were talking about. We heard, uh, I heard Mary Morning say something about mom. Yeah, mom didn't like morning doves. Morning doves? I love morning doves. Why didn't she like them? Because they ate the food of the other birds. <laughs> <laughs> you guys made awesome time. Thank you, we did. Yeah, we did. I can't believe that. Our fifth and final tip applies to not just new hikers, but experienced hikers as well. Don't forget to reward yourself for a job well done. In my opinion, nothing complements a completed hike better than a hot meal and warm conversation. Don't be so bad. Yeah, there's a guy. What are you thinking on it? Two years. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.